Hey folks, and welcome to this demonstration of my Entex Arcade Defender game. Now this is a handheld or tabletop version of the Williams Defender Arcade game. And the purpose of the game, uh, you're this ship here, and the background moves relative to where you are, and you, you fly along, you're protecting these green colonists at the bottom here from these red space invader types. And they go down and pick up the colonists, and when they get to the top of the screen, they, they convert a colonist and they come after you. So try to avoid them getting to the top of the screen and try to protect the colonists, because if you shoot them, or if they get to the top of the screen, then um, you lose the colonists. And when you've lost all of them, all of the uh, space invaders turn into uh, very nasty ones indeed. So you want to, I'm going to show you that, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. And it gets very, very hectic, so uh, I'll show you that. So, I'll first of all, I'll just go through the controls. So, you've got an up and down button here, which moves your ship up and down. A reverse button, which changes the direction of travel. So, your ship stays still, and the background moves relative. And if you hit the reverse button, your ship flips over to the other side, and you're travelling in the other direction. If you've also got a hyperspace button, which uh, just randomly moves you somewhere else in the playing arena. You've got a thrust button here which makes you or makes the background move in fact a fire button of course and a smart bomb button which is a great button to have um, so that's those red things there those are your, how many smart bombs you've got left uh, this is the number of rounds you've got that's a five and that's a one so i've done six rounds my score is 825 i've got no ships left but you'll see the number of ships you've got left there and the other controls you've got you've got this um, analog game speed control and you've also got this skill level switch here, which does something similar. Um, and it just makes the game run faster, and the noises are higher pitched when it's faster. And um, it's quite unusual to have such controls on a, on a game. Certainly the, the rotary knob there. And um, but it's, it, can, it can be used to make it really hectic indeed. So I'll show you that. So let's start a new game. Um, I'm going to set it on skill level 1 to start with, and I'll leave the speed control in the middle there. So there I am, shooting the bad guys. So I've done one round there. There's only three of the bad guys. And the more rounds you do, the more bad guys you get. Um, I don't know how often they, it goes up to another bad guy. But things are pretty manageable. Well, there's four of them now in this fourth round. So maybe it's every four rounds you get an extra bad guy. I'm just going to kill a couple of them off. So this is what happens if it gets to the top. It turns into a super alien and comes after you. And this, I've upped the speed and you can see that the sounds are higher pitched. Your thrusting is faster. Oh, I've got an extra smart bomb there. You get an extra smart bomb at 1,000 points. Right, just set it back there. <laughs> Getting a bit hectic. Ooh. Oh, that means I... I think if you manage to shoot a... Um, shoot a bad guy when you've got a, uh, a colonist and then rescue the colonist, I think you get a lot of bonus points. I'll show you that. You need two aliens in order to do it, because you need one. Oh, you got me. Well, I managed to rescue one there. I didn't get a huge bonus, but I don't know that. Uh, this is the smart bomb. So that's killed all the bad guys. So I've got five bad guys now. So what I'm going to do next is let them, um, oh, I missed that one. Let them get all the colonists. Oh, now, I'm not going to be able to outrun this fella, unfortunately. I to smart bomb him. Or I, make, I maybe could have hyperspace there to get away from him. I'll just show you, I'm up the game speed this way. Turn it down again. Oh, I accidentally shot one of the colonists there. 
So how many colonists have I got left? You notice the bad guys shoot at you as well. I've got two colonists left, it looks like. Now I can either lose them by shooting them myself or letting the bad guy get them. But he seems to be taking his time. So now I'm in a world of hurt because I've got... Well, actually not just yet, but I will be shortly. It's just hyperspace. To get that guy. Now they're all... Now there's no more colonists. They're all going to come after me. Every round, they're all um, super bad guys. Oh, you've got me. So there's a lot less to do. You've basically got to waste the bad guys, not try and protect the colonists. But there's fewer points to be scored. And it's coming after you quite hard. Last life. You notice your shots only go part way across the screen. Oh. And that's it, he's got me. So that's it, um, Entex Arcade Defender from the early 80s, uh, a classic uh, vacuum fluorescent game. Hope you enjoyed this one, cheerio.